that way. Tell you what, it's getting cold. Looks like the lens is fogging up. Up on the edge now. Look at this place. Ship out there in the distance. cave underneath there. Check that out soon. A couple of orchids. Look at this sharp rock. And look what's behind it. How's that? An eye. How's that eye? Big crevice crack right in there. My arm's just gone. I'll film that in a minute. I'm walking on the sledge here. Gotta watch I don't fall. Pretty crazy place. This eye over here. It's amazing. <laughs> Gotta watch these rocks actually don't slip down. Give you an idea. It's actually a cave in there. Have a look at this. How's that for an eye? This place is weird. So I'm right on the side of the head at the moment. Massive big thing. But this is just the big square rocks that are underneath it with 90 degree angles there. To understand that this pushed up through volcanic activity, or was it Nephilim made? Marking the site of the exit point out through that eye. The grid line that goes right across here. So I'm gonna go through that cave now. I got a movie light, so I'm gonna put a movie light on. Let's see how we go. It's a 90 degree angle. That cave. I'm gonna go through this cave here, get out the other side. This you should see what's on the other side. I've been here before, but this is my third trip. Second time with a camera. A good camera this time, so. I'm going to get through this cave now and show you what's going on. It's a bit of a crawl. It's about 12 foot wide and about two and a half feet high. Start making my way up there. Wind's coming through here quite a bit. Wish 
I might drag my bag. So, just put a headlamp on. Make my way up. It's quite a crawl space. Yeah. It's about two and a half foot high and about let's say close to about a hundred feet this cave right through just looking out this end here this side of the rock need more light just looking at that crack it's just so straight I'd say it's time of where the wind blowing through here it's um, atmospheric dust it's blown through here over time if you took a core sample of that you'll find probably you know like Radiation fallout from when they started doing it and in the 1940s on. Be a good core sample. It's only little torches I have, but this crack goes right underneath. It could lead off to an underworld, who knows. But it's time to get up to here now. Absolutely amazing being in here. Looking down through that cave and looking that way, knowing that I'm under tons and tons of rock that one's shaking and then I'm just squashed near like a sardine in a can or a cane toad on a road. I gotta get on with it. Side of the cave. over this edge and listen to a rock that goes quite a way doesn't it it's looking up and then crack Bit of a cave in. I'll check that out. Back view. Some light coming in over here. Uh, have a look what's up here. End of the cave. Side walls. I'm now coming up to the third boulder, square block. That crack is down to the side of me. So, in the breeze, it's quite pretty strong the wind in here. Could get suck you out, it's the vortex coming in suck you out the hole here if it blew any stronger but time to get on with it I'm gonna move it you have to put up with what I'm doing sorry about the camera work that's how it is I tell you this is wild this crack down here just goes straight down Shows you how deep the cave is. Can't really see what's happening on the monitor, but I hope everything's all right in the footage. But I'm gonna get through here. See that eye. 